Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the fourth and final part of my huge VHS haul. This video will feature some very rare tapes, including a couple of what I consider to be VHS grails. Media. I have a lot to get through, so once again I will probably only show the front cover of most of these. Let's start with this MGM book box of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Jason and I recently reviewed this movie for the Fangoria Challenge. Next up, Meatballs, to go along with my VHS copy of Meatballs 3. Now I need to find 2 and 4. Million Dollar Baby. Believe it or not, this tape is pretty rare, since it was one of the last films to get a wide release on VHS. Surviving Christmas with James Gandolfini. Again, like Million Dollar Baby, this isn't that common, since this got a VHS release right before they started phasing them out. The Island of Dr. Moreau. This is the 70s adaptation with Burt Lancaster and Michael York. The Incredible Shrinking Man. I love that cover. Paper Man, which I actually reviewed yesterday for Multipack Mania. This tape is brand new and still sealed. Here, as you can see, is a screening copy of American Samurai. I thought this looked awesome. Gold Raiders. This is a pretty rare movie, and this is the original media release. Jagged Edge. A slasher film starring Glenn Close and Jeff Bridges, disguised as something else. And The Name of the Rose, a medieval mystery movie which is basically a medieval slasher. Here's the original New World video release of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. I know my buddy Hobbs will enjoy seeing this one. Here's a screening copy of The Invaders. And another screening copy, The Presence, starring Kathy Ireland. I found this Anchor Bay clamshell release of Manhunter. This is the director's cut. And fittingly, I also found a VHS copy of Red Dragon. Here's a rare one, Overkill. This is an Aaron Norris action film that is actually more horror than it is action. Here's the Ted Pryor psycho film, Born Killer. This will make a great double feature with Deadly Prey. This one's pretty tough to get in good condition for a good price. Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. This is the totally uncut and uncensored version. School's Out, a slasher film I've never owned until now, and I've always loved this cover. Detour, which is basically a low-budget wrong turn. John mentioned this one to me not too long ago, and I told him to stay tuned because I'd be showing it, and here it is. Hostile Intentions, another rare one. Here's one of my favorite movies that Jason and I have watched and reviewed for the Fangoria Challenge, Humanoids from the Deep. Here's an extremely rare tape, Street Fight. Seriously, it's insanely expensive, and I found it for three bucks at an antique store. Here's an odd tape that I can find very little about online, Witchcraft Hysteria 1692. Apparently, it's some sort of documentary that was filmed on location in Salem. If I had to guess, I'd say this tape was probably sold in some sort of Salem gift shop when VHS tapes were still readily available. If that's the case, that would make this one of the rarest tapes in this video. Speaking of rare, here's a rare Lost on VHS 80s slasher film, Open House, starring Adrian Barbeau. And another rare tape. Ghost Keeper. This is the original New World video release. As far as rare slashers go though, this is now one of the rarest in my entire collection. Mirage. This is the 1990 slasher film, which I reviewed during the Slashback Challenge at some point. It never received an official US release on any format. This is the Canadian New World Video VHS release, and I am so thrilled to finally own it. I know the word rare gets thrown around a lot, but believe me, this is rare. It's also one of the VHS grails I referred to at the beginning of the video. And here's the other one. Now this is a VHS grail. 
This is the Roadshow home video release of Phantasm under the title The Never Dead. It was only officially released under this title in Australia, and that's where this tape is from. These are extremely hard to come by, and I cannot believe I found one. I've been wanting this tape for decades. Not only does the cover show the title The Never Dead, but the actual title card in the movie says The Never Dead instead of Phantasm. I just think that's really unique, and with Phantasm potentially being my favorite horror movie of all time, this was a must-own. I've been dying to share this one with you guys, for those of you who'd appreciate it. Well, that's it for the huge VHS haul. It's done. It's over. For now. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.